Hey guys, Jordan here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to close more confidently. Now, first things first, I apologize for the lack of videos over the last couple of weeks. But we're back to it now, as you guys will know, I've actually been moving house. Um, so I'm in a new apartment right now. We are on the river in my local city. Got a nice riverside apartment, which is wicked. Got a new setup behind me. I literally moved in last night. So I don't have everything here. It's all a little bare at the moment, but I'm gonna give you a apartment tour over the next week or so. I'm gonna show you around the whole place, what I'm doing to the place. I'm actually gonna be putting a sign just above my desk here, a nice personalized, custom-made neon light that says let's get minted on it. Because for those of you guys who are in the social media marketing school, will know that when I actually first started recording videos, I used to have a little light box that said let's get minted. It became a little catchphrase in the group. So uh, I'm getting there, we're gonna up the game and get a custom-made neon light that's gonna go up there. And um, we also have these nice Philips Hue light strips. I'm probably gonna get one for the back of the Mac as well. Um, and so probably some plants and stuff. And I'll play around with this. I've got a dedicated office now. Um, Lots of separate space for different settings for videos as well. So it's all exciting stuff. It's been very busy. It's been very stressful. I haven't uploaded many videos. So again, I'm sorry about that. Thank you for sticking with me and watching this video today. For all you guys, all your day ones thinking, hey, Jordan hasn't uploaded enough. So uh, I will be. I promise I'll be uploading a lot more videos from now on. On a positive note, we have hit 30,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Um, it's amazing, so I'm so, so happy. So thank you to each and every one. I think we're on like 31 now. I was meant to do a 30,000 subscriber video and then like in a week we've gained another 1,000 subscribers. Um, I can't tell you how that feels. It feels amazing. Roll on 100,000, uh, so thank you so much. And actually, what the heck, we'll, uh, we'll do a giveaway. Um, I'm doing this on the spot. I don't know what I'm gonna give away. Um, okay. I'm gonna give away an hour long coaching call. Um, I'm gonna give an hour, and those of you guys will know, I don't actually do coaching calls anymore. I've actually removed coaching calls. Um, and for those of you who have been asking about coaching calls, I'm just so busy with the agency and with the training business and with the book. Everything is going at a thousand miles an hour at the moment. The all businesses, all free businesses are literally scaling up at a silly rate. And I have not been able to find the time to do coaching calls. So I've removed them from my website. So I'm really, really sorry for anybody who's messaging me saying, hey, can we jump on coaching calls? I'm making them exclusive to course members now. And that's all I can dedicate my time to with regards to coaching calls. But I'm gonna give one away. Um, give away an hour coaching call. It's gonna be a strategy call. We're gonna go through whatever you want to go through. Um, and all you have to do is like this video and comment down below with your target for April. What do you want to achieve in April within your business, within your agency, whatever that may be. Uh, so yeah, like and comment below and I'm gonna give away a free hour strategy call. Got all of that out of the way. As I said, I'm gonna do like an apartment tour in a week or so, but let's get into the bulk of this video while you're actually watching this. It's how to close more confidently. Now this is going to be geared towards social media marketing and more specifically how to close, confidently close social media marketing clients. Now this is a big problem. A lot of people message me and they say, Jordan, I'm, I get all the way through the meeting. I've, I've, I've carried on everything. I've asked loads of questions. I've learned about the business. I've presented my services and I come to talk about my price and everything just flops. And I end up justifying my price and I end up settling for a deal. I mean, I see some crazy deals going on. I mean, recently um, I've seen people do commission only deals with businesses. I've seen people take percentages of businesses because they don't want to fork out for their service charge and they've settled for things that they didn't initially want. Um, so I wanted to make this video to, to help you guys be more confident when you are closing social media marketing clients. Now, first of all, we need to establish why people actually buy off you in the first place. Why do people say yes? Okay, they say yes when they actually desire your product or their service. Okay, your product or service. Okay, they need to want what you are offering them. They need to realize that they need social media marketing. They need your social media marketing service to carry on and be more successful within their business, okay? They need to have the desire for that as well, as well okay? So they need, to, they need to vision what it's going to be like when they have this service, what it's gonna be like when their business does start to grow, when they do start to sell products that aren't selling well, or when they are busy on days that they're not currently busy on. How's their life gonna be? They need to desire that lifestyle. And then finally, they, number three, they need to trust you, okay? They need to trust that you are the person you're saying you are. They need to trust that you are capable of providing the level of service that you are saying you can, that you can fulfill everything that you've been talking about throughout your meeting. Okay, so we're gonna go into that and we're gonna go into how you can actually build these things. Now, the most important thing in any meeting, in any social media marketing meeting or any product that you're trying to sell is the customer, 
okay? So absolutely do not make your meetings about you. It's not about you, it's not about how many posts you're gonna be doing a day, it's not about what images or what videos you're gonna make for them or whether you're gonna provide content or whether you're just gonna make ads, it's not about all of that, okay? It's about the customer and how this impacts their life, okay? What you are doing is trying to grow their business on social media, okay? But what does that actually mean? What does that mean for them? How does that impact them? And what is it you actually need to do to achieve that, to actually help them grow? So as you guys all know, who've been watching my videos for a long time, a big part of my meeting strategy, if you've read the 15 minute agency, is called the discovery stage. It's when we just come in, we've broken the ice, and uh, we've asked questions about, we've spoken about the weather, and we've gone through all of that, that awkward ice breaking. And we dive straight into asking questions about the business, okay? These are probing questions. We wanna ask them when they're busy, when they're not so busy, what, do, what products sell well, what products don't sell well, what are their problems at the moment? What's their current marketing strategy? How do they think it can be improved? And we want to get them talking, okay? This is their, ta their time to let their shoulders down and unload this weight, okay? This weight of, I'm not doing enough, or, I need to change this, or these, these problems need to be resolved. You're starting to get their brain ticking, okay? You're starting to make them think about the issues that they're facing within their business. And sometimes these issues have been long buried for a very, very long time. And you, you need to bring them back to surface. You need to dig them back up, but let them do the digging, okay? Don't do the digging yourself. Just ask a few probing questions and let them dig all of these problems back to the surface, okay? You need to bring them straight to the front of their mind. And then in my meeting strategy, we move on to tying all of that in, okay? So we tie it all in. We talk about how, how they would feel if these problems were never solved, how this would impact their family, their friends, and on the flip side, how they would feel if these problems were solved, if they could generate more money per month. We go through um, financial targets. So we say, look, you're making X amount right now. You've told me your monthly revenue is 10,000 pounds. You've told me that if all of these problems were solved, we should be earning 50,000 pounds. So you set a target in the middle and you get their, their, that spark, okay? You get that, that fire in their heart ignited to say, that an entrepreneur, everybody who starts a business, they start this business because they have a dream. They have a dream of where they want to take the business. They have a dream of how they want it to impact their life, what it's going to be like for their family, what it's going to be like for their friends. And sometimes over the course of the years, these dreams fall, okay? And we settle and we get complacent. We don't want our clients to be complacent. We want to ignite that fire in their belly, that fire in their heart to say, I want more, okay? I want more. I want to look back on my old vision of the business and I'm not where I want to be right now. And I want to be where I want to be. And this person can help me. And you're going to teach them that, okay? You're going to let them know that you are the person they need to trust because you're going to listen to them throughout this process and you're going to be genuinely interested in everything that they have to say. You're going to take notes and you're not going to speak over them, okay? This is really, really important. This is relationship building 101. This is sales 101. You need to listen to the customer because they are the most important person, okay? And then you come to presenting your service, okay? You present your service, you show them what you're capable of, you show them what they can do, what you can do, sorry, and you educate them about social media marketing, okay? If you haven't, if you don't know my full meeting strategy, get yourself a copy of the 15-minute agency or enroll into the social media marketing school for some more in-depth training. Um, but you're going to present your services and this is where we build trust, okay? This is where we build trust. This is where we show them that we're knowledgeable. This is where we wow the business owner. This is where we start to connect all those little dots, all that, that rubble that you have unearthed, all of those artifacts. You are now starting to connect them all together and put them in a nice shiny showcase and in a museum and you are letting them vision what it's going to be like, okay? These, these problems that you unearthed, you're going to let them envision how you are going to begin to overcome these issues and you're gonna make it real for them, okay? It's not talking, it's not words, you're not blagging, you're showing them how you're gonna do this and you're gonna build trust throughout that process, throughout presenting your service. So when you come to actually quoting and when you actually come to stating your price, it's not a question for the business owner because you've built that trust up, okay? You've listened to them. You've related to them. You've built the need. You've built the want for your product. You've built the desire for your product and how it's going to impact them, okay? And now you've built their trust in the presentation, okay? And this is so, so important. By this, If you follow the meeting strategy properly, you will have all of those three things 
Done. That, like you, you have all of those three boxes ticked. Okay. So when you come to going to the close, when you come to actually asking for the sale, and you say, look, my service charge is X amount. Let's say it's two thousand pounds per month, and I want you to spend a minimum of one thousand pounds. I want you to spend a minimum of one thousand five hundred pounds a month on adverts. Okay. You say that price, and you be absolutely confident on that price. You don't stutter, you don't say it quietly, you look at them straight in the eye and you say, this is my service charge and I want you to spend a minimum of X amount on adverts as well. You are asserting yourself on that business owner, you are telling them what you want them to pay you and how much you want them to pay on adverts, okay? Because you are the owner, you are in charge here, okay? You are the social media marketer, you know what you're worth, you know what your service charge is and you know how much they should spend on ad spend. The minute that you then start justifying that price is when you have literally shattered everything, okay? You have taken your whole meeting strategy, you've crumbled it up in this little ball and you've thrown it in the bin. Honestly, you can literally ruin a meeting in two seconds the minute you start to justify your prices, okay? The minute you name your price and you come off even the the slightest bit not confident, you will shatter your whole meeting because that business owner won't trust you. And I want to give you an example. Let's just say that you were going down to the shop and you need to pick up some bananas. You're hungry, you're peckish, you like bananas, you've heard good things about these bananas. You go into that shop, you pick up your batch of bananas, you get to the counter and uh, the cashier says... Uh, so that is, um, that's, that, that's five pounds. Um, so that's, that's how much the bananas are. Uh, but they're really nice bananas. Look, they're, they're really nice. They're, they're, they're from, um, they're from Africa. They're, um, yeah, they're really good bananas. Look, there's no, there's no black bits on them. They're, they're really good and they're ripe. And you're going to be thinking, why, why is she justifying the price of these bananas? Okay, surely they're just really good bananas. Like, and you're going to start to question these bananas. You're going to think, is there something wrong with them? Is there like a spider in them when I start unpeeling them? Or if you go down to the TV shop and you, you've already know that this TV is really good. You've seen it on telly, all right? And you've, you've, you've got friends who have this TV, this nice 65 inch UHD, whatever. You get to the counter and the guy's like, yeah, it, it's 600 pounds. Um, but it's but it's really nice. It's it's a really good TV. It's um it's got it's got UHD and and, and it's got it's got Bluetooth and and all this. And you're thinking, what? Why is it just? I already know it's a good TV. Okay, I already know I I want that TV. Okay, but the minute you start justifying it, you're going to start questioning it in your head. Okay, you're going to start thinking the customer you is going to start thinking. Why, why are they justifying that? Like, are they not confident that this is a good TV? Or is, are they not confident that these bananas are very good? Okay, because it is what it is. That's a banana. That's a pretty good banana. And that's a, that's a really good TV. And it's exactly the same with your service. Okay, it's exactly the same with your service. Not, not so much the same as a banana and TV. But you are providing a service where you are making companies more money per month. Okay, you are going into a business because you want to make them more revenue per month. Okay, that makes you extremely, extremely valuable. The minute that you start to justify your service charge, that owner is going to think, he's not the guy. He can't make me more money. Why is he questioning this? Okay, because if you were absolutely certain and if you were absolutely confident of your service, if you know that you are approaching a business that you can help, okay, and you know that you can help them and you can transform their business, then you have absolutely no reason to justify your price. So when you say your price, stay dead. Don't say anything at all. Let the business owner speak first and let it be a yes. Do not speak over them. Do not say anything after you state your price, how much your service charge is and how much you want them to spend on ads. And let them speak. Do not speak because you're going to start justifying yourself. It's all going to go tits up. That owner, if you've done anything wrong in a meeting or for whatever reason, they're just not the right business owner and they're saying to you, yeah, we can't really afford that right now. Um, we can't really afford that right now. Can we? Uh, can can I pay you on commission, or can I pay you at the end of the month, or um, or, or can I give you a percentage of my company? The minute you then say, uh, mm, uh, uh, "Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you," again, game over. Because you're not firm. You're not solid with your service charge. This is my service charge. This is how much you're spending on ads. Like it or lump it, or go elsewhere. Because I can, I can turn businesses around. I can generate more revenue for businesses. I want to transform your business. Okay, this is my service charge. Like it or lump it. You're not going to say it like that, but that's how you need to be in your head. Okay, that's how you need to speak to yourself. Be absolutely firm. Okay, I'm not going to walk into John Lewis and buy a new TV and say, yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay you 500 for that TV, um, and then if I like it. 
um, then I'll give you the extra 100, okay? Um, or, yeah, I'm just going to give you 400 for that TV and then I'll give you another 400 next month. And they're going to be like, mm, yeah. No, they're going to be like, no, that's £600 TV. That's a very good TV. That's what you're paying for it. Or I don't walk into Sainsbury's and say, yeah, that £5 voucher bananas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of them. Um, and maybe I'll have two of them. And then if I like them, then I'll give you £5. Or let me pay you £2 and I'll give you £2 next week. Then Yeah, sure, Jordan, not a problem. Take, take the bananas. No, nah, that's, a, that's a £5 batch of bananas and that's what you're paying for that batch of bananas. And that's the same mentality you need to have for your service, okay? You're a social media marketer. This is the price I've quoted. That's the price you're going to pay. There is no, no negotiation. And if you are truly confident about your service, you have no problems in doing that. And I know I, I probably sound a bit abrupt for some of you guys watching this um, who are starting out and maybe you're not so confident. Maybe you've just learned Facebook ad. Just learn more, okay? Do your research. Take a lot of training. Take time to understand ads and how it will work. Look at case studies. Look at previous results that other people have got and get more confident with your service. Know and trust the process that you are going to generate more revenue per month for clients. Now this whole concept only works if you are approaching the right clients, okay? If you're just approaching every single business down the road and you're like, I'll, I'll contact him, I'll contact him, I'll contact him because you're desperate for a service charge, this isn't gonna work. You're not gonna have confidence because you're gonna be approaching businesses you have absolutely no clue about. You need to only approach businesses that you're confident about providing a good service for okay you need to have make sure they have a good product you need to make sure they have a good reputation and you need to make sure there is room for them to grow okay you can establish all of those things in the meetings but you can establish all of those way before the meeting in the prospect stage and i'm rambling now um, because i've gone through all of this before so read my book or watch my previous videos if you want to know more about prospecting but you need to make sure that you're contacting the right businesses okay guys um i'm not going to carry on rambling anymore i hope that this video has been valuable for you guys i know i've, I've got a little bit heated and passionate in this one um but I, i'm very passionate about it because you absolutely should be confident in your service you are providing a very very valuable service we're in the industry of helping people to make more money per month and it doesn't matter whether you're doing social media marketing you're selling tvs bananas or even an online course like the social media marketing school people approach me all the time and say jordan i, I don't want to pay full price can you give me a discount or this or this like nah no i can't because what i'm giving you is extremely valuable i'm changing people's lives all over the world people are getting five-fold return on investments within a couple of weeks it is cheap as it is already i'm so confident about that point and how it how much it is helping people and how every person who goes through that is learning incredible life skills that will change their life forever and i'm so confident about that that there's absolutely no way that i am negotiating on my price and that's exactly the same mentality you need to have on your service charge it doesn't make you arrogant it doesn't make you obnoxious it makes you confident about the service that you can provide for people and the impact that you can have on their life okay guys um good video back um it's nice to be back i'm going to be doing more of these i can't wait to be uh, on youtube more often um make sure you enter the competition that i mentioned at the start so like this uh, like the video and comment down below with your goals for april if you have any video ideas any content you want me to come out with over the next week or two or next couple of weeks whatever then please do let me know in the comments as well when you enter the competition and uh, yeah i'll be back again with an apartment tour very very soon see you later guys <laughs>